probably know this channel for posting aviation videos, but I've got another interest, and that is paramedicine or first aid. So, right here I have my uh, like jump bag, first in bag, whatever you want to call it, as well as my monitor. <laughs> Pretty advanced for a civilian setup, just to put it that way. Um, and I'm gonna give be giving you a tour of both of them. I can get my tripod in place. There we go. Okay, so this is a Berno, I believe it's the Trauma Airway Management Bag 2, I think. So I use it for both of those things. I'm hoping to get uh, a specific bag for airway management stuff and maybe get like some oxygen or whatever. Um, so in the first compartment, I have got, these are medications. So this is pretty basic. Uh, I've got two syringes, and I've got two vials of naloxone, um, and then I've just got some cold pills, and I'm eventually going to get like ibuprofen, uh, aspirin, and uh, acetaminophen, maybe some Benadryl as well. I've got some patient care reports. Obviously, as a civilian responder, I'm not really obligated to file those, but it's nice to have them, you know, just in case they're needed, because this whole kit is really kind of just in case they're needed. So first, we'll go in, this is my Ferno IV kind of mini pouch. So, currently, I've got just a bag of, bag of saline, uh, some trauma shears, saline flushes. I've got a needle, a little sharps container, which is good, especially if I were to administer naloxone. I haven't currently got any catheters, uh, cause I'm obviously not going to be administering IVs in the field. I've got the I've got a drip set. Let's uh, put it for there. Uh, just nice to have those, you know, if you ever need to uh, pass that to a paramedic who's driving on scene or whatnot. But for majority, a lot of the stuff that's advanced is just going to be like strictly for training and just kind of to fill the bag. Next, we've got this is the uh, diagnostic or vitals pouch. So this is where I keep all my manual uh, vital stuff. So in here I've just got an adult cuff. I'm going to eventually be getting a pediatric one, hopefully. I've just got a, a cheap stethoscope. Um, I've got a little pulse oximeter. Camera focus. Okay. Uh, I've got a and light and I've just got a digital thermometer as well as some uh, covers for that and some wipes to wipe down any of the equipment after it's used. Alright, this green pouch right here is going to be our airway management pouch. I've got this bag, I'm eventually going to organize these. I've got a case of them as well, so uh, this is our OPAs, as well as some NPAs. I've got four size uh, of NPAs. I've got like a whole set of OPAs. I think there's like 10 or 12, something like that. Uh, oh yeah, and I've got some uh, lubricant for the NPAs. So I have those just in case I need to ventilate my vac valve masks because you need those as airway adjuncts. And here we've got our trauma and bleeding. So as you can see on the outside, I've got a Kyosam hemostatic dressing. Uh, expensive but worth it. I've got just a commercial grade tourniquet. I know it's an off brand of a cap, but can't really currently afford one with uh, all the money I'm putting elsewhere. I've got tons of uh, compresses and abdominal pads. I've of course got handy trauma shears, some uh, cling or rolled gauze, some more gauze, uh, and some tape. I believe I've got some compression bandages too.
in the back here. Uh, I've just got my miscellaneous kit, is what I call it. It's just got small, large band-aids. I've got this thing's for nosebleeds. It clamps onto the nose. Got a bunch of uh, tape, and I've got like a thermal blanket, space blanket, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Right here, I've just got my adult BBM. Here, I've got my pediatric BBM. I'll eventually get an infant one. So that's it for the inside there. Push this back. In this pouch, I've got zoom in a little bit. Some uh, non-rebreather mask. I've got a pediatric and an adult. I've got some nasal cannulas, some extra O2 tubing that I can use with PBM, and I've got a CO2 detector. I just got that. I don't even remember when, but I'm not going to use it. It's just kind of. Moving on to the top. For a little bit of burn care, I've got these uh, burn dressings. Here's this uh, case of OPAs I was talking about. So yeah, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight OPAs uh, from 40 to 110. I've just got a, a bulb syringe. I've got some extra gauze dressings or non-adherent. I've got some extra like triangular bandages and whatnot. Of course, got uh, a couple N95 masks. I've got some more cling. I've got a pair of uh, Kelly forceps or Kelly clamps. Some more tape and oh yeah and I have five and ten cc uh, syringes sure I got that. All right. in here I've got uh, some surgical masks gloves I've got a vomit bag or an assist bag I've got some biohazard bags this is kind of infection control I've got some can 95 masks that I just threw in there just in case they were needed. Uh, obviously we'll first go to the N95s. Yeah, so that's this bag. Now we're gonna move on to the monitor. Well first, uh, this is my good stethoscope. I've got a Littman, I forget the name of the model. I think it's one of the classics. Get it to focus. No, okay. Uh, yeah, the Littman Classic 3. What it's gonna be. And here, I've got my monitor. This is a Philips Heartstart MRX. So, it's a little bit of an older monitor, but it's still a great monitor. Uh, funny enough, it's got, uh, like the, the thing for the uh, paddles, but obviously, I'm not using paddles. Just fl flick it on to, uh, monitor uh, it's probably yes so we've got uh, yeah leads you've got lead selection mark events uh, you can start blood pressure uh, currently I have just got this uh, old five lead like the old clamp style set um, I'm going to be hopefully getting hopefully getting a uh, SBO2 probe, uh, an adult blood pressure cuff, and a 5 lead with the snaps, and then get some electrodes. And currently, I've just got the uh, test probe and then the therapy cable. Uh, but I will obviously eventually get, be getting pads uh, for that. Yeah, so this has the ability, to, it can pace, uh, and it can also just do AED mode. So it's Apply started. pads to patient's bare yeah. chest. Plug in pads connector. It's going to say that, and then it'll just analyze, and it'll shock if it's in V-fib. I don't think it shocks pulseless VTAC, so you'd have to go to manual for that. 
but uh, yeah, especially if you have anybody else who's not trained, you can just tell them flick it to AED mode, and then all you'd have to do is I can plug in the test load if I put it to the manual thing. Hopefully I'm getting everything in frame. I think there's a couple of things I missed, but uh, it's gonna get mad because it's an assistly, but yeah. Um, so that's how you would do your like testing to make sure it'll shock. So this just like you know, just picks the electricity or whatever. Uh, and then yeah, that's about it. So I've got my Philips MRX and my bag, and of course. Oh, and get the scope. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully, I'll upload more content, especially when I get uh, the rest of my stuff for the monitor. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you did, nah, you could maybe like and subscribe. Uh, not gonna beg you for it. And yeah, again, hope you enjoyed, and hopefully, I'll be posting again soon. See ya. <laughs>